Little Haven was born 100 days early, weighing just 410 grams. It's about the size of a Coke can. Babies born so early are monitored for organ damage, brain damage, and developmental delays. And researchers are now learning that what happened at birth could cause problems later on. Yeah. Erica and her twin brother, Erith, were born three months early and weighed just one pound, 14 ounces. Well, I'm 30 seconds older than he is, which I always remind him of. Five days after birth, both babies needed heart surgery, battled infections, and suffered setbacks. It was just so tiny, and Erith was born sick. And we stayed in the hospital for about three and a half months. I didn't know if uh, we stood a chance if the kids would survive or not. Now, 19 years later, Erica and Erith are happy and healthy, but they are still reminded daily of their first few months of life. I only have one vocal cord and the other one's paralyzed. New research shows micropremies have an increased risk for psychiatric disorders later in life, breathing problems, and heart disease. Young adults who were born at 28 weeks or less are at nearly three times the risk of having high blood pressure, all problems that can't be seen when the babies are born. But researchers are hoping to avoid the NICU altogether by developing a blood test to determine risk. What the blood test currently does is it tells you, yes, a woman will deliver preterm within two months of when she took the blood test. And what we hope is that it will get paired with a treatment and then you can prevent the preterm birth from happening. Treatments that could delay birth and change a child's life forever. I'm Marty Salt reporting.